Just saying we should change the hiding spot every few days or so. It's your cotton and Mandy, it's stuffed. Well, don't you reckon? Reckon what? We should keep changing where we hide the mirror. Well, sure. Because you know what your Auntie Lily's like. And if we don't keep moving it. Hello, all. Who wants to be the first to get my new mobile number? Why do you need a mobile? It's not like anyone ever calls you. Fergus, lots of people do. Yeah, like who? Well, it's a... See? Well, I don't want your number, but I bet Mum does. She's been looking for you all morning. Well, I'm sure she'll catch up with me. Sooner or later. Hey, Auntie Lily, where are you getting all the money for this? You're too young to understand the world of high finance, Daniel. Excuse me. What's she up to? Constance. Yes, Papa? The paper silhouette in your room. Have you removed it? No, of course not. Then we have some grave news. We know how fond you are of my Ling. We are afraid we are going to have to let the girl go. But why, Papa? For some days now, I have noted the disappearance of certain household items, not valuable in themselves, but irksome to replace. And this morning, your mama notes the disappearance of the silhouette. And under the girl's bed, we find silver candlesticks. My Ling is not a thief. The thefts take place only at night. The house is always locked. But, Papa... I'm sorry, Constance. My Ling leaves our home and employ this very morning. Myling? I do not believe it, Myling. I know you would not steal from us. Not me. I don't steal. There is a bad spirit in the house. Myling, 
You said you heard something last night. What did you hear? Footsteps in here. Footsteps on stairs. I followed them into your room. Then, gone, nothing. Must be bad spirit. Yes, a very bad spirit. This is your 10 o'clock call. What's up? Did any of you come through the mirror last night? No way. <sighs> then I suspect your Aunt Lily has found its hiding place. Where is it? Those are Auntie Lily's private things. We're looking for evidence. We're never going to find any. She's probably sold everything. You don't know for sure it was Auntie Lily who took Constance's stuff. Daniel said that your aunt has been buying many new things. Here, let me help. Aha. Uh -huh. Ye olde antique shop, Frederick Kelly. Looks like evidence to me. Well, what are we waiting for? Constance. She can't go dressed like that. Here, we should fit. Thank you. Well, get out so she can change. Sorry. Yeah. So dumb sometimes. Bit much, isn't it? She'd probably start a riot in your time. Oh. What do I... Do you want a hand or something? Thank you. Whoa! Doesn't it get hot wearing all this? It's like you've got a whole extra set of clothes on. Your underwear is different? There's a whole lot less of it. What's all the hard stuff? It's made from whalebone. No way! You kill whales to make underwear? Well, yes. That's disgusting! Next time I go through the mirror, I'm taking Greenpeace with me. Who? Who's going hey, shopping? cool. Cool is good? Yeah, really good. Are we going or what? What? Hello? It's Lily, quick. I'm just ringing to see if my voicemail is working properly. <laughs> well, no, it's just that none of my messages seems to be getting through. No messages. I'm not getting. That's because no one's leaving any. Okay, someone's gonna have to stay behind and make sure Lily doesn't get her hands on the mirror. Yeah, but who? You're doing next time, Fergus. Thanks, man. Um, shopping time, guys. If you wouldn't mind giving me a bye, Dad. See ya. Who's Daniel's new friend? Constance who? Constance... Constance? From the caravan park? Um... Yeah. So, are you coming shopping with me? What? They think you're just a kid. What they don't realise is that girls are a lot more mature than boys. So, you're probably just as old, if not older, than Fergus. Mandy! You've got the mirror in there, haven't you? No. Where are the boys? I don't know. Left you all by yourself, have they? Typical, isn't it? They just run off and have all the fun. You could teach them a lesson, you know. You could show them that they shouldn't take you for granted. Let you have the mirror, you mean? No way. 
Oh, come on, Mandy. I'll give you five dollars. like this. It's got like cheese and stuff on it, right? And it's on this flat sort of soggy bread and you tear a slice off and just stick it in your face. It's great. You should try some. But first, we've got to get your picture. <laughs> have gone off somewhere and left her. She's really upset. Won't come out. Mandy, let me in. No, Mum. I'm fine. She's just being brave. You know what she's like. Mandy, open the door now. I'm okay. Sorry. The sting. Come on, no more crying. I'm dead. Can you see it? Sue? I do not understand. <laughs> is that from your place too? Yes. That is our coat of arms. Ah! Oh. Now, you read me what that says. All breakages must be paid for. Right. One of you owes me... 150 bucks. How can I owe you when it was never yours to sell? Don't get smart with me, young lady. But it was stolen from my family. 150 bucks or I'll call in the authorities if I have to. <laughs> Look, I broke it, so I'll pay for it. Daniel. No, well, I'll have to call my dad, though. Oh, right, come on. Daniel should not be doing this. Not on my behalf. Yeah, what a hero. Listen, I've got an idea. But Daniel... This is about Daniel. Come on. We go back through the mirror and get another chamber pot to replace the bust one, and Daniel's in the clear. Vegas, look! It's Auntie Lily. She's got another pot. Stop! What's going on? Get away from me! What do you think you're doing? My Ling lost her situation because of you.
I'd like to come to some arrangement. Instead of paying for the one that got broken, how about we just replace it? Well, this looks the same, doesn't it? It's exactly the same. Where did you kids get it? The same place you get yours. Well, um, yeah, it seems uh, fair enough to me. So when Daniel returns, you will tell him that the debt has been paid? Of course I will. Could we have a receipt, please? Just how I wanted to spend my day. Oh, good. Because, see, I had it all planned out. When I woke up this morning, I thought, gee, how can I really stuff things up for Doug today? You're skating on pretty thin ice already, Daniel. A smart mouth isn't going to help. You've got no right to talk to me like that. I'll talk to you however I see fit. I'm your father. Yeah, when it suits you. Daniel! Daniel! I've gone 15 years without you, Doug. So don't think you can start acting the heavy on me now. So I broke something. I make a mistake. But let's face it, Doug. That's all I've ever been to you, isn't it? One big mistake. Daniel, don't be ridiculous. It's the truth. It's why you and Mum broke up, isn't it? You can't blame yourself for things you had no control over. Why not? Because you just can't. I'm sorry. I guess a hundred bucks isn't much, is it? Not after 15 years. It's not the money. I know. You seem to think that everything in this shop belongs to you, Missy. But it has my likeness. Can you not see? No, it just looks that way. Genuine antique that, you'd have to be 130 years old. 130? But this likeness was made last summer. It's almost new. That lily, I'll kill her if I get my hands on her. So, may I please have my silhouette? Not so fast. I spent good money on this. Constance? It's not much, I know. Well, uh... Barely enough for a loaf of bread. Damn. But, Constance, he's ripping you off. Those coins are... It does not matter about the coins. I have this. Hey, why don't you take care of... Do you trust me? Yeah, I think so. Thanks. Oh, I've got to pick up the shopping, so uh, I'll see you back home. Hey. There you are. Great. We can go. We had the silhouette. But what about Fred Kelly? All fixed. That's why we ran out of the shop. I thought you were leaving me there to take the wrap. As if. Uh, we got a replacement pot off Auntie Lily. Auntie Lily? How'd she get one? The, the mirror! mirror! We're gonna catch you, Lily. Yeah, rats. Faster! Go faster! Daniel, go faster! Oh, yeah! Yeah! We're gonna hide the mirror, Lily, and this time you'll never find it. Not in a million years! <laughs> Hey, see you later, Lily. 
I do not want to enter a survey on dairy products. My Ling. My Ling, we were wrong. I found the silhouette. We are truly sorry we doubted you. We would like you to return. I am very happy now. Grandpa Wu's garden is very hard work. But how did you know where to find your paper cutting? Missy Constance met with bad spirit? Well... But where did the bad spirit come from? Where did it go? Constance, can I hang out with you today? That is how, my name. Ha, 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 ha.